Hello, Facebook Live. Marcus here. It is Saturday, March. I'm sorry, March. Saturday, April 3rd. Saturday, April 3rd, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it is beautiful out right now. I don't know what the temperature actually is. I have to work in the office and I have the door open here. Um, what is the temp? Uh, the temp is 46 and pure sun. It's near the 52 today. One of my run this morning and it was 23 degrees. Um, I said to a friend I was running with, we both said this will probably be our, the last coldest day until obviously the fall, uh, until November or something, December. Um, so I've dressed warm this morning, gloves, um, and I got three and a half or four and a half miles. And I forgot what we did. It was three, I don't four miles uh, we got this morning. It was literally 23 degrees when we started running this morning. So hopefully, hopefully that is long past this. Hello, everybody tuning in. Hi, Lynn. Hello, everybody else who's tuning in. Appreciate the views and the support. Just wanted to come on and give a shout out today to a, a Hudson Valley company that we've been doing business with for years that um, just did offer a really kind gesture uh, to us uh, last week or the week before. Um, so Jamie and I run, uh, are the race directors for Ellenville Run Like the Wind race. Last year we didn't have a race. This year we're not having a race. Uh, it takes a lot of work to put that race on, and we just never have enough volunteers. Jamie and I literally will spend from February, March, April into the second week of May doing nothing but um, this race and uh, promoting the race, getting sponsors, set, making everything sure everything's set up. And when two, three hundred people show up to run, um, it's just it, it's a lot of work. And we used to do two races, a 5K and a 10K. Then two years ago, we switched to a 10K, on, a 5K only. Because it's just it's a it's a lot of manpower to do this and a lot a lot a lot goes into it, and Jamie and I with the pandemic last year of course we were like okay um, it's canceled we can't do it and we just couldn't get I know there's some races in person this year but even if there's some still races that are being pushed off we're having this fall that are getting pushed off uh, I know uh, the Celebrate Life did go off uh, two weeks ago um, they had several hundred runners for that it was six seven hundred I don't know what what they had protocols for COVID. Um, but so we've been doing this race. This race is the old, longest, one of the longest running, um, longest running, not distance, but longest running as in years, uh, Hudson Valley races founded in 1983 in Elmore Run Like the Wind. So Jamie and I, uh, became the race directors like five, six years ago, I don't know, seven years ago, maybe I'm not sure a hundred percent. Uh, we've been doing the race and we use this company called Johnny on the spot for the portal porta potties. Um, they are out of Rosendale. So they sent us this great email two weeks ago and said, hey, you know, we appreciate everything you guys do in Ellenville for the community. We really admire it. Thank you very much for what you do in your community. Um, we want to comp um, the porta potties. And porta potties are expensive, folks. Porta potties are not cheap. If you rent them um, for an event for the weekend, they, 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 be, they, become, they become very expensive. We used to rent three from them. And they said, hey, the porta potties are comped this year. And if you're not doing the race, and will run like the wind race, if you're not going to do the race, we'd like to comp porta potties for any other community event that you guys are putting on. Um, so I just thought I'd go on and give a huge shout out to uh, Johnny on the spot there in Rosendale. Um, so uh, on their website, uh, Johnny on the spot disposal dot net, uh, they do a bunch of things, um, toilet repair, septic pumping, grease traps septic repairs septic installations it looks like septic pumping um we've always used them for their porta potties is what we've always used them for so thank you guys uh, johnny on the spot in rosendale uh really really great company um, pleasure doing business with them it's great when companies like that any company you know just um um you know steps up and um and wants to do things for the community as well so um Hello, Cheryl. Um, hi, Cheryl. Hi, Susan. Hi, Judy. Um, so, thank you, everybody. Happy Easter, everybody. Tomorrow is Easter. So we celebrate Easter. Happy Easter. Um, we're open today at three o'clock, and uh, I got some new tables and chairs in. Uh, so out front now we have some nice bright yellow chairs that colors lightens everything up. I got some green tables. I'm ordering, um, I think like six more metal tables for outside red ones this time that we can put in the streets and really like the colors pop. I'm really excited about that. Um, so, 
um, tables and chairs are not cheap. Um, outdoor tables and chairs, restaurant quality grade, not cheap at all. Um, so it pays to buy the better ones anyway. So that's what I'm doing next year is I have everything picked out in the shopping cart. And I'm going to call the company and um, execute the order. Hopefully they'll be here by next weekend because next weekend the streets are closed in Ellenville. Uh, are closed for driving. They're not closed for dining. So they close the streets down and they um, they let us restaurants put our tables out there and serve alcohol out there and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, we'll be having entertainment. The restaurants get together and sponsor entertainment. And uh, that's supposed to happen next weekend. But if it's cold and rainy like it's supposed to be, um, then um, it's probably not a good idea to close the streets because people don't want to walk a couple extra blocks to uh, eat at a restaurant in the cold rain. Um, so hopefully we can make a good decision next week, everybody on that, the village. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Um, really appreciate the support. I think that's it for now. Our calamari our calamari appetizer is gangbusters this week, like gangbusters. Um, it's understandable because it's one of our best dishes, uh, popularity-wise, and it's $9.99 all week until Sunday. $9.99 for takeout. We will deliver into in the town of Worsing. Uh, if we have an available delivery person, we definitely will deliver it to you. Give us a call. And um, that's it, folks. Have an amazing day, and we'll talk to you later.